What's up guys, Moshe Karnika with Krav Maga Fight Tips from Israel. Today I want to talk to you guys about an extremely important concept uh, in a combat or in a real life scenario. Uh, if God forbid you find yourself. Now, I'm uh, a first responder myself and I teach first, I train first responders on a daily basis. And I want to take from the incident that happened not long ago in America where uh, a shooter came into a school, shot 19 kids uh, and two teachers. Um, and basically, what, what have, I did a whole video about what we could learn from this incident. Um, very, very hard incident, very tragic. Um, and I want to here talk about one specific concept. It's called um, communication. Now, in a real life, Basically, what happened uh, in the incident is the the police. Uh, I don't know exactly who went into the classroom at the end. They basically went into the classroom classroom after 77 minutes, where the children were lying bleeding to death on the floor of the classroom. Um, when they went, when they entered into the classroom, they were shocked that they saw these children. Um, because no one um, identified them, no one, uh, no one thought that it's important for them to know that there's actually kids in the classroom with this crazy shooter. Um, what happens in real life, in a in a real life situation, is is that basically there's chaos. No one knows what's happening. Um, a lot, a lot of chaos. And that's why it's extremely important to be um, communicate to communicate all the time to communicate. Um, if you see a terrorist, say terror, shout terrorist. If you have a jam, a malfunction in your weapon, shout mal malfunction because it's extremely important to everyone to know what happened, what's happening around you. Uh, like I said, if you see a terrorist, shout terrorist. It could be that someone will see you shooting and they will think you're crazy. You, 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 they don't know what the scenario is. If you say terrorist, so people know knows what to do. Um, also about, to, uh, you see a knife, shout a knife. Because many times in fights, people think it's a fight. And meanwhile, there's God forbid someone stabbing someone and they think it's a fist fight. That's why if you see a knife, shout knife. Shout terrorists, shout all these things. Now, I, I had a. Um, now, these things are things that you must train. It won't just happen in real life if you never train them. That's why, in your training, make sure to, to train these things. In our training, we do all the time, we focus on these things. Either we're practicing mag, mag, uh, reload, mag changes, so make sure you, you, you train. In Hebrew, it's called Gmah, I'm empty, so. Um, Make sure you do you do that while you're doing your mag, your mag changes. Um, reload, ch uh, shout, reload, um, shout, terrorist. All these things in your training, they have that's things that you have to do. Now, I had an incident when I was in the IDF where I actually shouted, "Terrorist is down." That that's something that we we use in our training, where when you shoot a terrorist and he's down, so everyone knows what to do we basically cl come closer and shoot him uh, in the head with God's help um, of course according to the threat and, and, and etc and that happened actually happened to me in real life where I was in a, in, a, in the IDF and we were in this um, checkpoint where terrorists came charging at me and thank God I shot him and I shouted terrorist is down and then my commander knew to um, uh, Tell on the radio to the to the other um, elements of, of our battalion what's happened. So make sure you guys that you train these things. Make sure if God forbid you find yourself in a scenario like that, all the time to communicate. Now it's not like you're going to a secret mission in, in Afghanistan where you have to be very quiet and everything. No, it's in a, a friendly environment where you have to shout to the people around that will know what's going on. So I hope you guys find this um, information important important for you. I think this information is extremely important 
for people that want to protect themselves and their family and for first responders and for people that train first responders I think these are an extremely important uh, this is an extremely important concept um, I hope we won't have to deal with these terrorists or crazy people in our schools but if if God forbid it happens so we'll eliminate them as soon as possible we'll stop the threat and save lives. Have a great week guys. Make sure you leave your comments down below. I love to hear them and go over them. Make sure you share this video so we'll get to more uh, defenders, more protectors, more good guys that will be able to protect innocent lives. Have a great week guys. All the best. Moshe Kanika with Krav Maga Fight Tips from Mitchell.